kuna kitu kingine unafaa kujua kuhusu Yesu Ninajua kwamba umekuja kumwabudu na kwamba umempokea na unamfahamu but today i want you to know one more thing about jesus how he relates with you how jesus relates with you kuna kitu kimoja unafaa kujua kuhusu yesu namna anahusiana na wewe Jesus respects every believer's faith. That you need to know. Kwamba Yesu anaheshimu kila muumini na imani yake. He respects your faith. He respects your faith. I I do not mean your denomination. I do not mean your church. I mean your faith. When he wants to reward you, he will honor your faith in that reward. Akitaka kukubariki au kukuinua, anaheshimu imani yako. You are level of faith. When Jesus wants to elevate you, I know you know that he is able. Amen. That's what the Bible says in uh, Ephesians. That he is able to do more than we can ask or imagine. Na hiyo ninajua kwamba unajua he is able. You know very well that he is able. Do you doubt him anymore? No. But when he does not do that does not mean he cannot do when he does not do that does not mean he cannot do it simply means you have not provided what he can honor he is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work in us Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 wa verse 320 inasema anaweza kufanya zaidi ya yale tunayomuomba au kufikiria kulingana na nguvu yake iliyo kazini ndani mwetu God is able to do but you must understand this about him. He is able to do more than you can imagine. He is able to do more than you can ask. But you must understand something about him. That he will do the much you believe he can do. He is able to do everything. But he can never do more than you believe he can. Matthew 9:28 I want to read for you that verse Matthew chapter 9 verse 28 Can I read for you When he had gone indoors the blind men came to him and he has seeked them and this is the question for you Alipoingia ndani wale vipofu wakamjia They did not tell him what they wanted But they came walimjia ndani aliingia indoors is out of the meeting ameingia ndani They came to him na alipowaona akawauliza Do you believe that I am able to do this that is the question you have to answer yourself. Do you believe he can do that? Is able? Do you believe that he is able? Because God is not going to do 
more than you can believe he can do. Mungu anakwenda kufanya tu yale mambo ambayo unaamini anaweza kufanya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. One more thing you need to know about Jesus. He will never surprise you. He will always respect, honor and obey your faith. That's why Jesus told them in verse 29, according to your faith, will it be done to you? Sikia mtu wa Mungu ambaye unahangaika. Shida ya watu sio ukosefu wa fedha. Sio ukosefu wa, wa, wa afya. Ni upungufu wa imani. Tatizo miongoni mwa waumini sio ukosefu wa vitu ni upungufu wa imani Kwa maana Mungu mnayemwabudu anaweza kufanya mambo mangapi yote Na narudia hivi watu wa Mungu anaweza kufanya mnayo yaomba na msio yaomba hata ya kufikirika tu lakini hata kufikiria hatufikiri He can do even more than we can think more than we can ask more than we can imagine but the question is do you have what it takes do you believe we can do it watu wengi wameekea mungu mipaka ili anaweza kufanya ili aweze kufanya you cannot limit god and expect him to surprise you with supernatural supplies The problem with Christianity and many Christians is that they limit God. They know what he can do and what he cannot do. They believe that there is something for them to do. All you need to do is to believe. Mark chapter 9 and verse 23. Jesus said, if only you can believe, all things are possible. Anything you believe that it is possible it becomes possible anything you believe it is impossible it turns impossible no matter how possible and easy it is kama unaweza kuamini mambo yote yanawezekana there is no unchangeable situation There is no condition that is irreversible. All you need to do is to believe that Jesus is able to do it. I know you can do all things through Jesus that gives you strength. But for Jesus to participate in what you are doing, you have got to believe that he can do got to believe he can do you have to believe he can do you you know he can make the cripple to walk but for you to walk you must believe that he can make you walk that he is able to do it yes wakawauliza mnaamini ninaweza kufanya do you believe i can enable you to 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 conceive do you believe i can change your your, your life between now and december that you could be staying in your house do you believe by the end of next week i can make you to drive your car if you can believe all things are possible all things are possible jesus asked them do you believe i am able because people believe that he may not be able he asked them do you believe i am able Do you believe your God is able? I believe my God is able to silence witches and even kill them. I believe that. So anything you hear me speak, I speak out of my conviction. I don't, I am not a motivational speaker. No, I speak out of my conviction. 
I am totally convicted and I am convinced that Jesus can do what I normally tell you he can do. Even though it has not occurred in your life, that does not render him incapable. I still came to announce today he is able to do it. He's able to do it. I might not have seen it in your life. I might have not seen the miracle in your life. But that does not change my Jesus. One thing you need to know about him. He limits himself to your faith. The match you. What you believe he can do. He can do. What you believe he can't do. He cannot do. Someone say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody here must teach you. You need to teach your mind something. Tell your mind to know Jesus. Let your mind know Jesus. Because believing of what he can do and what he cannot do is something that occurs in your mind. It is not your heart. Your heart knows you are God. But your mind limits your God. That's why the Bible says in Romans 12 that be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Somebody has got to educate his mind. Lazima mtu ambie akili yake ukweli. Akili yako ijue kwamba matamanio ya moyo wako yanawezekana. Kwa maana moyo unaona mbali. Moyo ndio umepepa desire. Mahitaji yote ya mwanadamu yako kwenye moyo wako. When kimulio hap, muna jua kile hambajo, muna taka kuwa. Lakini wakati mingine unafika mahali, unaona hicho ulichotaka kuwa, hauta kuwa maana mda umekuenda. Mda hauta kuenda, ni upungufu wa imani. Maana mambo ya miaka sarasini ichayo, ya naweza kufanyika chini ya maka mmoja, kweli si kweli. Ya naweza kufanyika kiwango kikubwa, Baka watu watafiti wate kukuuliza mulifanya fanyache. Maana kuna vile mungu wanaweza kukusababishia wasielewe. Yuko mungu mbinguni buwana. Mambo ya nanya wachukua watu wengine miaka themanini, miaka sarasini, miaka mingapi ya naweza kufanyika chini ya maka mmoja. Nasema chini ya maka mmoja maana shiku wangu jenjo imani. Maana ningesema ya naweza kufanyika usiku wa leo. Nile na chishuku mwenyewe pia na ungana nani. <laughs> you know I don't know who I am talking to. Yuko kijana mmoja aliyekuja hapa kufanya service ya keyboard. Yeye kwenye kutoka Dar es Salaam. Yeye kwenye akili zake alikuwa anajua kwamba kanisa hili lilianza kama mwaka 84 hivi. Akaniambia hisee bwana. Hii. Hadi kanisa si mna wazee sana wa miaka bwana hii. Nikamuuliza wewe unaona lilianza lini? Anasema hili. Yaani hivi kwa utaratibu wa kawaida tuseme mwaka 84 <laughs> nikamwambia mwaka 2015 July ndio tulikuja hapa sitaki kusema kilichomtokea lakini hata sasa kule aliko acha amini kuna watu mmekaa hapa mnafikiri kwamba shida yenu ni upungufu wa fedha mnafikiri kwamba shida yenu ni, ma, ni, ma, ni, ni mapato mnafikiri kwamba shida yenu hamuoni matokeo hapana Shida yako tu, shida yako ni kwamba unaamini hicho Yesu hawezi kukifanya pira kufuata taratibu za kawaida. Au mfahamu Yesu kwamba wakati mgina na kiuka taratibu mahani, mahali imani ina imeinuliwa. Imani ikiinuliwa, mungu wakumbuki sabato. Anafunja taratibu zote kama imani hipo. Anafunja tu sheria za kawaida za biashara kama imani hipo. Yani ni mungu tu. Yani ni mungu tu yani. If, hawezi kufuata. Kama yuko mtu mwenye imani na ni sabato na ufai kuponywa, anakuponya na inaandikwa na hayo yalifanyika na ilikuwa ni siku ya sabato. Anakuambia pepa, pepa mati ya kuwende tu. Ina, najua ipepu wangi lakini pepa uwende. Maana umeonyesha imani, pepa ufanya nini? Uwende. Yani ninajua kwenye bilika hili ni malaika anafaa kutibua mati. Lakini maana umeamini yani simama ufanya nini? Uwende. Jesus does not consider protocol where faith is supplied. You need to know something about Jesus. 
you need to know something about him. He is your savior. How can you have a savior that you are too limited in his knowledge? The Bible says, then you shall grow in the knowledge of the son of God. Then we shall grow in the knowledge of the son of God. I believe God can make me rich. I don't know about you, but I believe so. I, I, I don't just believe. I know he's able. He has made others rich. He's able because they presented their faith and he presented the supply. I know he can make me rich. I know he can prosper me. I know that. Amen. Hallelujah. And I also know this, that as long as I believe in him, I am assured of the divine protection. There is no man of faith that God cannot change. I know. Wako enkina wanafikiri kwamba vinyangalika vya kenyechi pale kwenye vijichi vita waangaisha. Ninajua kwamba mungu wangu ni kimuamini kwa hilo. Kwa lile ambano ni memuamini atalifanya. Ni kiamini kwamba atanyangaisha wachawi atawangaisha. What is it that you believe he can do? That he can do. What is it that you believe he cannot do? That he cannot do. You believe you cannot drive. He may never supply a car. Even though at the moment your car is present with him. It is there. Your car is there. But until such a time when you believe that ah, he is able to give it to me, then he will make ways even within a week and you drive it, man. Many of us are wasting a lot of time looking for too much money. At the moment you get it, it disappears because you don't even believe that he can protect it for you. Mm. I believe. This is me now, not you. I believe that my savior is able to give every barren woman children and they shall become mothers. That I believe. Do you believe? I believe that every woman and every man seated in this church today, no matter the age, if you are not a couple, is able to supply you with a life partner. I believe. That's my belief. I believe so. I'm not requesting for your approval. I believe. I believe that everybody see that here with a certificate can acquire and access an opportunity to serve the government, to serve the kingdom, no matter the age. I believe. That's my belief. And I'm persuaded in my conviction. I believe God is able to turn around this church in one month and, 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 and turn it around and build a new structure and form a new... A new I, I, I believe God can turn around this church. I believe even before December, he can do something. God, I give you all the glory this morning. What a one of God you are. I believe in him. I believe. I believe that all your children that are, that are performing in school, they can perform within this month. I just believe. I believe that Jesus is able to save your husband from drinking. He's able to save your brother from drinking. He's able. I believe so. I believe He has been able to do it in the past. I believe that people in this church can become so powerful until any demon assigned will surrender before execution. I just believe so. I believe that the case and the cases in your house 
can be changed. I believe that Jesus can is able to save you and your household, the entire household. I believe. I believe God. They, those, those people, you believe that they are impossible. Kama unamini, kwamba they are impossible. I want to go if you are if you are if you are. Lakini mimi kama mchugaji wako, nataka ni kwa mbukisi imani yanku. I believe they can be saved. I believe they can be born again. I believe they can serve God. I believe so. I believe so. I believe. I believe it's possible. It's one thing you know about Jesus. I believe so. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Father, this week, this week, do something for somebody that believes you. Nina amini yao watu wanaweza kuwa na magari kumi, ishirini, sarasini, wanaweza kuwa na mashamba. Because iyo yote ukonayo. Ukonayo na unateka kufanya. But I know you honor and respect our faith. So I believe. I believe you are able. Jesus, today I came to talk to you. That the family is present, present here and represented. Can access your divine empowerment. That this week they will see your power and your face. I believe you, Lord. Those people believed and according to their faith they were able to see. These men and the women here have believed and according to their faith they will testify. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information call the number on the screen. Gospel Embassy Network TV, the place to feed on heavenly bread.